So now we're going to go on to what type of law we would need or what type of tool we would need in order to solve an oblique triangle. And you remember an oblique triangle is a triangle in which you have one angle that's between 90 and 180 degrees. Well, a lot of people don't know that the sine law, if you've seen it before, actually comes just straight from right triangle trig. So I'm going to do one example of getting the, some of the ratios from our sine law. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop a perpendicular from angle B to side AC or side little b in my triangle. And when I do that, what I wind up doing is creating two right triangles, one on your right and one on your left. And since we know how to deal with right triangles, what we can do is just use basic trig functions, basic Pythagorean theorem, to develop our sine law. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the angle sine of angle A and we're going to take the sine of angle C. When we do this, remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so sine of A is opposite H over hypotenuse C. And sine of angle C is opposite H over hypotenuse A. We can now use a little bit of algebra and rearrange these expressions for H. So I'll get H is C times sine A and H is A times sine C. And recognize that the two H's from the two expressions are the exact same H in our triangle. So what we can do then is to equate these expressions. And when we do that, we have H is H, or C times sine A is A times sine C. What we can now do is apply a little bit of algebra and multiply each side, or divide each side, excuse me, by sine A times sine C, and see what cancels out. So on the left-hand side, we see that the sine A cancels out, and on the right-hand side, we see that sine C cancels out. And we're left with the ratio that side C over sine of angle C is equal to side A over sine of angle A. Now, if you remember the sine law at all, these are just two of the three ratios that make, up, make it up. What we could do, and I'm not going to bother doing that here because we've seen one illustration of it, but I could do the same thing and repeat all the above steps for taking the perpendicular from angle C to side AB. And then I could repeat it again from angle A to side BC. And we'd see that we get the third ratio would be showing up. So what we, still, what we will see in the result of all this is that our sine law comes out to be A over sine A is B over sine B is C over sine C.